Do you, you guys watch anything inter- interesting? Man, I watched uh, seven hours of the God of War like storyline. It amazes oh, me that you'd rather watch it than play it. Man, it is so, it's such a good story. It's like watching a movie. I mean, I'm sure it is, and I do want to play that eventually, but I wouldn't want to just watch it. I want to actually play it. I don't think I'll ever get to play it. Just with the nephews, like they'll never let me get to the TV and actually play anything. Maybe, I don't know. I, I still do want to play it Like in the future. like I don't know if it's going to be on PS4. I don't know if it's just a PS5 release. I, no, I believe it. No, it's both. It's PS4 and PS5 both. Okay. Yeah. yeah, then I'll get it on PS4. I think we, my nephews don't know this yet, but we got them a, a, a new game console. So they're going to be playing that probably from now on. And I'll get the PlayStation. So I'll start playing God of War, actually. <laughs> you, you don't have a TV in your room? Not yet. No, we have a TV, but we haven't put it up. Uh, you know, we just have the one big one in the living room. Oh, okay. But I can put one in my room. Um but man, this storyline, this this game was so good, so fun to watch. It was it was just a blast. Like, so they introduced Thor early in the game, kind of like they did in the last game with Baldur. Yeah, they actually um, the very end of the first game they introduce him. Oh yeah, right, they do, and uh, he he's just like uh, you know. He starts out, you know, you, you know him as a black and white, just evil Thor, like bad guy. He killed all these giants before, but uh, there is some. They flesh him out. They give him some development, and you you see like you know his sort of his side of things. He has a family too, so you learn like how he's doing in Asgard, and you know what Odin's up to in their personal lives and all that stuff. And it's just it's really just so much fun watching this whole this whole storyline get fleshed out you know uh everybody fits into it i felt like perfectly uh, it the hype was so so much for since the last god of war right it was so good and this one lived up to it and i thought you know somehow met expectations which were nearly impossible yeah that sounds cool I, it is always better when the villain like uh you understand their motivations yeah. And they're not just like a you know mustache twirling villain. You, right. you actually go, oh okay, they have a side, you know. Yeah, and there's growth for all the characters, you know. Like uh, they they go from like some people being like happy go lucky and almost you know like they haven't had any troubles to like now they're burdened and they have like all this trauma from what's happening in in this you know in in the events that are happening in this game, and there's just so much like. The, the characters like i said development like from beginning to end there's they're, they're completely different people some of them the only i i listened to a few um reviews of the game and really the only knock i heard against it is apparently there's like a a sequence where you got to play as atreus like mm-hmm. the boy and apparently like people don't find that that part of the game as fun they find it kind of yeah, tedious or I mean, something like that i think it's just that you know, we're we're all used to Kratos. Like he's just a fun person, the fun right. character to play as. You know, Atreus is like he doesn't have the backstory of like slaughtering the Olympic, you know, pantheon. <laughs> right. You know, he's not this like out of control, fun, you know, character. He's just like a kid that's that's still learning his way. But right. and you know, his powers aren't as cool. Like Kratos is like he can go into rage mode. In this game I don't think he goes into rage mode as much. I don't think that's like his main power like he used to be. But um, uh, Atreus's power is more that he can like change into different things. Like he can change to like a bear or a wolf, stuff like that. And you know we've seen that in games before. But I think that's like not as intriguing as Kratos' his whole you know story and his gameplay. And people just like the character more. And and Christopher Judge, I think that's his name, the character or voice. I think so. Yeah, he's really good, man. This, I mean, I don't know what they do. Maybe they like do a little special effects with his voice afterwards but it just sounds great and the acting is great yeah like i know those video game awards they have each year like don't really mean anything but he uh was nominated for like best performance or whatever yeah it was really good the only real knock i had against the 2018 god of war is like i think like story wise and environment wise like it's probably superior to the older ones, but I didn't find the actual gameplay as fun, and it was definitely more difficult as well. Right, right. Uh, I heard the the last one actually is harder than this one. Like, oh, really? It's played in like the hardest mode. Like this one's actually easier. Um, but uh, I don't know. Like, yeah, that game was a. Uh, 
I don't know. I, don't know. I can't. I can't say I haven't played them. You know, I just right. watched. The <laughs> well, another thing I didn't like about the the twenty eighteen one, and I guess this is a very slight spoiler for that one, but. If, if you haven't played it or watched it by now, you're probably not going to. But you start off that game with like a um, an axe that kind of has the Mjolnir power where you can call it back, throw it and then call it back to him. Mm-hmm. And I like that axe for like puzzles and stuff, yeah. but actually combat with it, I, th- I thought sucked. And I could never get the hang of it. It almost felt like that thing where you like rub your stomach and pat your head at the same uh-huh. time. Like it was just always awkward and I never got good with it. Okay. But then luckily, eventually in that game, you, you get your Blades of Chaos back. Okay. And then like fighting with those is a lot better than fighting with the axe. Yeah, in this game, you do have, I believe, the Blades of Chaos. You have the axe and you can also just fight with your fists. Like there's, there's a few ways you can do it, I think. Oh yeah, you might have been able to fight with your fist as well in the other one but um but yeah i definitely like the blades better than the axe i mean it is cool to be able to like throw the axe and call it back but just like yeah fighting with it was always awkward and then like i'd lose track of it and be like where oh oh yeah i gotta call it back and it's like oh you it just feels weird to have a hectic fight with the axe the axe is still like a, a major part of like the puzzles because you do have to like free stuff and like you know go back and like that's cool i i like that element of it yeah so you'll still have that but uh yeah the blades of chaos i definitely saw like half of the gameplay that i saw was with the game with the blades of chaos so i know in the first game like the, the like your skill tree you could like build up certain parts of it and, like, I actually built up the part where you could have Atreus, like, help you, like, shoot enemies with his bow and arrow. Atreus is more useful in this game. Like, yeah, I, I like doing that on the first game. Yeah, yeah he's, he's pretty powerful. It's like having, you know, a real ally with you this time. Like, somebody's equal in power. Man, just today I was playing more of Horizon Forbidden West. And, like, it's a good game, but I'm, I'm like... <sighs> some of these open world games with just so much like bloat in them i'm like i'm like i want to finish it but i don't like just like you know golden passing the game and just doing like the main like i like doing the side missions and side quest things but eventually like there it's just too much so in god of war the side quests are really interesting oh yeah yeah they're fun they're fleshed out really well like i've seen some of the quests like after the game is done even and they're still really interesting like they go into like the past of kratos and his wife and it reveals more information as to the story oh that's so that's always good when the side missions like feel consequential yeah yeah and feel worthwhile yeah this is a really thoughtfully developed game really great i know in the 2018 when like i think i probably did most like the story side missions but like like when I finished the game, I had the intentions of going back and getting getting like all the collectibles and stuff, but I just never. Did. Yeah, I've never been one to do that. That's just always a little too tedious for me. I think uh, the game that I played like that the most was Fable, just because like it was an experience just playing that game. Like it was fun going to those little towns and they were beautiful and stuff like that. You know? Right. But otherwise, like uh, side quests, never. You know, I'm I'm about the main story, and especially with games like. Uh, Oblivion and Morrowind and stuff like that. Oh, all the Elder Scrolls. <laughs> I, stuff, I never, yeah. yeah, I could never get to the side quests. I was like, man, what is the main story? I gotta right, do that. right. <laughs> yeah, I love open world games, but some of them are just tediously yeah, like filled with stuff. For sure. That's why I, um, I've re- I really like both the Spider Man game and Spider Man Miles Morales games because of the those I hundred percented those. I like I did all the side routines and like. I don't know what my overall like time in those games were maybe like 30 hours or so like like you could actually do everything and, and you didn't have to dedicate yeah. your life to it you know and so th- those games are perfect as far as like time wise yeah i'm good with those games as well when it gets like 60 hours yeah then it's then like man there's too much i haven't touched the tip of the iceberg with this game like you know it feels like there's so much to do even when you're like 20 hours in so yeah yeah it's just overwhelming